Hello everybody, so I'm about to be posting my first video on my own. Four souls and unfortunately dead, but the dude Bzack is alive, I guess. But uh, I've recently seen some videos of floating around YouTube with like 50 facts about me, 25 facts about me, 40 facts about me. And those are pretty interesting, so I decided for my first video on my own, I'd make a similar video called 40 facts about me and it's gonna be more of a vlog style because most of the time these are like sit down videos like they're just sitting down answering them rapidly but I just wanted to make it into a vlog for it to be a bit more entertaining so hopefully you guys enjoy it so as you guys can see it's already 3 p.m. and I'm barely starting my day I usually start my day off with coffee and a little fun fact about me is that I'm obsessed with coffee and I can't stop drinking it and when I do stop drinking it like I get massive headaches I get moody and well I'm gonna start the day off right with a cup of coffee so I'm about to be using some Guatemalan beans from Starbucks and a quick fun fact about me is that I'm half Mexican and Guatemalan and I'm very proud of being Mexican and Guatemalan so Bring out the bean grinder. And here's the fun part is the brewing process. So I got all my beans in here. So time to start the brewing process. And just like that. You have some delicious cup of coffee. This is my favorite part. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's hot. But it's mighty good. All right, so uh, while I'm here, I'm going to be answering the other questions that I didn't get to answer while making the coffee. So, question number three. Well, I live in Seattle, Washington. And another fun fact about me is that I've never left the country. And I don't even have a passport, dude. Well, that sucks. But, um, but I do really, really want to visit uh, Kenya and Africa or Guatemala. And I'm very hyped for those two. An obvious one is that I'm 16 years old and I was born on January 7th. So, the more you know. And as most of you guys know, I got uh, three other siblings and I'm the only boy out of like four siblings. All right, so my beautiful parents brought me some uh, hash browns from IHOP. And I have 18 all day, so I'm pretty excited for this. This thing is the funnest thing you would ever like ride. Like you feel like you're floating. Like people would, like compare this to surfing or snowboarding because you just like, glide on pavement, so it's very like satisfying. I highly recommend you getting one. I'm currently charging the one right now because I want to go on a short ride later, and I'll answer some more questions there. There's some um, uh, chihuahuas chasing me. And I was afraid I was about to get big because the chihuahuas are freaking crazy. Um, I forgot my sparkling water, but a uh, fun fact about me is that I'm obsessed with sparkling water. I drink about two cans a day, sometimes three. And my favorite food is pho. And I've never slept over at a friend's house. But then again, I have no friends, so that probably answers it. One of my favorite things to do with the one wheel is go up hills. I don't know, maybe because I'm a lazy bastard, but I hate walking up hills. I get so tired and I'm so out of shape. But 
Never been either, and there's a uphill over here, and I'll show you how effortless it is with a one wheel. There's the uphill over there. How about them fall? And look. Super easy. And over the train tracks. And you can just run whatever terrain you want. There's like a junkyard over there. It kind of reminds me of the high school musical part where Troy and and I forgot what what the other dude's name was when they were doing like a scene at, at a junkyard. But I guess another fact about me is that uh, I'm 5'4", and especially for guys, that's considered pretty short, but I'm hoping I grow like a couple inches because I do not want to say this short, but that's life, I guess. Footage, like the camera footage looks so stable on a one wheel. It's like, it looks like you're just floating. I gotta adjust the ball head on this tripod because it looks like it's about to break. So, I'll do that real quick. I found some shade. All right, time to lay down now. There's some other basic facts about me, like I'm obsessed with Queen. I guess I'm obsessed with a lot of things now, but especially Queen. Like their story is just so magnificent, magnificent. And I've actually never been on a plane and that sucks because I'm also afraid of heights and I really want to go to another country soon. So I need to like, get over the fear of heights because there's no way I'll be confident on going on a plane if I'm <laughs> afraid of heights. And I did not bring my yo-yo. I'll, I'll probably just insert some, like, like after like footage of some B-roll of me playing the yo-yo. But I know how to play the yo-yo, and I think that's such an interesting fact because not a lot of people know how to play the yo-yo. Another fact about me is that I'm a musician. Um, now I'm, I say I'm pretty good at playing guitar. I somewhat know how to play drums. And I'm pretty okay at playing drums and piano. Like, I know my way around them, but I'm just not, like, super, super good at them. And there's not really much of a music genre that I hate. Like, my music taste goes all the way to classic music, like Beethoven, to super heavy music, like Kublai Khan, uh, like country. A lot of people hate country. I don't understand why, but Brett Young is such an amazing artist. And K-pop, uh, like BTS, that's all I know about K-pop. <laughs> and... Another fun fact about me is that I've, I did take some music classes, but I never got good, so I quit. And the next fact is that I'm not a quitter. Kidding, but in all seriousness, whenever I start something, I try to finish it. There's only been a few like cases where I haven't actually finished it, but I try to finish it. I say I'm pretty of an honest guy, and I know my girlfriend could agree with this, but I'm a bit too honest, which is sometimes not good on some occasions. All right, so time to head home. I don't know if the camera could pick this up, but the 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 very dry grass like messed up my elbow. I finally got home with the AC. It feels good. Probably one of the best flavors of LaCroix is probably the key lime one. I hate key lime flavored stuff, but the the LaCroix version hits the spot just right. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. So as of right now, me and, me and my dad are working on a 1965 Mustang. And it's literally the funnest thing ever to do, like to work on it. We've done a few upgrades, like change the steering wheel uh, changed the uh, tail lights, added a new shift ball to the shifter, and we also got new keys. Some new keys over here. And I love this horse. It's like the classic Mustang 
worse. And also a really interesting fact is that my favorite car in the world, like my dream car, the one that I would love to own in the future, is a 1965 Fastback. So I guess this is pretty close to it. It's just a 1965 GT. And it's so beautiful. It's also a stick shift, which means you gotta just shift everything automatically. And also the engine bay is super super basic like there's not much like there's it's not overcrowded it's just like an engine in there in there like with newer cars there's so much it like advanced so much and also another fun fact is that i drive manual which is very like rare these days because less than one percent of people buy new cars with a manual transmission in it as of 2019 and I don't know, just like the driving automatic is so much more boring than driving a manual. And let's see the engine bay because um, the engine bay is one of my favorite parts. And after I'll show you all the stuff that we added to it. The engine bay is literally just like one engine in there. And with this is called the air cleaner, which cleans the air that heads to the interior. It looks so simple compared to newer engines. So the few things that we've added was a new uh, radiator. And hood pins which look very badass, badass on this car. They look a bit more aggressive. Oh, and they just look way better with them. In the interior we've added new seat belts. A new steering wheel like I had mentioned earlier. And a shift ball. And here in the back, we added new tail lights and a new muffler. And that's about it of what we added to this car. All right, light is looking decent. I got myself some food, and earlier I mentioned how I'm obsessed with pho. If I did not mention that, then my favorite food is pho. I'm not proud to say it, but I'm about to be eating pho for the third time in a row in a day. Not 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 in a day, but I had it yesterday and the day before that. So let's see if we can go for number four for tomorrow. Should I turn this into a mukbang? Like <laughs> this is my second LaCroix of the day. This is my absolutely favorite flavor. Lemon cello. It's like a creamy taste though, it's weird but it's super good. Time to pull up some questions. All right, so I hate squatting because I don't know how. And the hard part is that uh, where we work, which I work in painting, like residential houses, a lot of squatting is required. So I just gotta sit down or go on my knees and my knees are already horrible. So I rather prefer not going on my knees, but I guess this is kind of it, but like I shake horribly. Yeah, I can't do this for much long. Like I can't do that for a long time, just a couple seconds. <sighs> Next question. Oh yeah, this one I'm ashamed about, but I was in seventh grade. <laughs> I was those kids who reminded the teacher about homework. This is the part where a lot of people may unsubscribe from me and that's okay because I, I would unsubscribe from myself as well. But luckily, I had some lovely people who taught me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> also, my main passion in life is photography. And that's what I'm, stri I'm striving to be a photographer when I grow up. Like photograph weddings, or like portraits, just working with people in general. And I also really enjoy video production. Like, I love making videos. And I love editing videos. And it just like, a lot of people get stressed of it, but for me it's like something really, really re relaxing. And the uh, the end, like the end result is usually something that makes me very, very happy. And my noodles are already getting soggy, so I should probably start eating fast.
And also, I'm planning on not going to college. Uh, the reason is because photography doesn't require college. And at that point, it would just be a waste of $40,000. Because college is expensive and I don't want to pay for that. So I'm planning on not going to college. Well, like I mentioned earlier, I work at a family business. And that's painting residential houses. When Four Souls was around, which was my last channel, with my three amazing sisters, we made a video explaining the amazing opportunity that my dad have, my dad had, my dad had, my dad had, and he painted Bill Gates' house, and that video link will be up here. I, uh, this is the one where uh, me and my si sister uh, struggle the most, is to find out like, what am I smart at? Cause I'm not school smart, nor am I street smart. I don't know if I'm like in between or, I'm definitely not school smart, cause I failed last year miserably. And I'm not street smart, cause first of all, I don't even know what street smart is. So, <laughs> so maybe that's why, but, but I am a very quick learner. I do learn stuff very quickly. Like, for example, I did mention this earlier, but I did learn uh, how to drive manual very quickly. It took me like less than maybe a week. And it took me to learn photography like a couple days, guitar a couple days, piano took me about two weeks. On to the next question. I used to cry a lot as a kid, and I guess that like kind of like resembles how I am today. Like, I physically scream when I'm scared and I start shaking. I did not know I started shaking, but my sister Damaris said I, I shake when I'm scared, which is weird. And I get mad when I'm hungry. Not really like mad, but I get I do get like very, very moody. When I'm hungry, I just saw a shadow. Oh, that was my cat. Oh, but like I do get mad when I'm hungry, which sucks. It's horrible to have that. And um, I cry when I need to. There's no shame in that. And also do not have an indoor voice. Like whenever I order food, apparently I cause a lot of anxiety for my sisters. Cause like, can I have a soy vanilla latte? Oh yes, that's all. Like, they say I scream, I don't think so, but it's cause I'm not paying attention how loud my voice is, they are. And, oh, this is, this is so embarrassing. So me and my sister uh, were grabbing coffee in the morning cause we had a day off. So we went to a local, uh, cafe like coffee shop I was like all right I'm about to go up there and just order two two o vanilla lattes iced and I was like so can I have a uh, and I just stood there for a good 30 seconds and the cashier the poor cashier she was like super awkward because like I just froze out of nowhere it was just like a brain fart so like my brain like just stopped working and my sister was like Oh, lattes, iced, vanilla. It was like, oh yeah. It was a small cafe, so the whole cafe was able to hear me, like, like, stutter a lot, I guess. This one hits Amy Corazon. Second to last, I've been with my girlfriend since eighth grade, uh, which is middle school. And then we're going on three years. We're like, what, was it like nine months, 10 months? I think it was nine months because our anniversary is October 5th. Anyways, yeah, we're about to hit three years and that's super dope because in middle, especially in middle school, um, no relationship ever lasts. I don't know, we've been together all this time and then we're hoping to, to last as long as possible. Hopefully until marriage, but you know, stuff happens. So hopefully nothing bad happens in the future and keep the bond very tight. It's been super challenging during COVID because we were barely able to see, we didn't even see each other for a good like eight months. And then uh, it's hard to keep a relationship very strong when you can't even see them. And the final question or the final uh, fact about me, I guess, is this is my third attempt on doing YouTube, dude. Third. All right, so <laughs> the first one, I did a singing one. Do not look this up because all the videos are private and if you do try to look it up, I'll thump you. And the second attempt was Four Souls. The videos are still up on this channel, so just scroll down. It, literally the next video will be our ending video. So just look for it and it will be right there. 
while you're at it, subscribe. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I actually sticked posting consistently to this channel, but see you next time.